hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a video for you all and this video we are going to uh, talk about september um go ahead and do our flip for september and let you guys know what i've done in here and then um, i want to show you what my intentions are what my plans are for october and tell you a little bit about my systems thus far so let's start with the a6 so um well actually you know what let's start with the a5 because the order that i am trying to explain things today um it will make sense if i just do it in this order so I'm not going to go into too much detail about the A5 because if you have been following me for quite some time, then um, this is like not even new to you. You already know like what the deal is in here. So I'll show you what, um, and maybe it would be wise if I just pull out my pen. So that way if I have something to check off, I can just do it. Um, so I'll show you guys what I've been doing in here for, let's see, September. So we're going to flip to September. Boom. Okay. So we're, we're here. So I've already done like a mini flip sort of kind of of like September setup. Um, for this particular month, I mentioned in a previous video that I had originally set up a um, regular calendar, but it didn't work out. So um, I ended up ripping that page out and um, I ended up doing like this kind of monthly overview. And uh, this kind of monthly overview really doesn't work for me, mainly because of how it's set up like some times I need to see like the weeks on a different kind of a scale um, and for this because it's all like running together you really can't tell so you really have to pay attention to the days that you're on so I mean that's probably one thing that I'll say about this I did add a days to remember section here so um, when I had important dates that were coming up or something that I needed to remember this was really helpful. So I think that if in a time crunch, uh, if I end up on a spread similar to this where I can't do a month on two pages, like if I had already put this here and that was the end of the month, um, then I would do this layout. But it's not, I mean, it's convenient when you only have one page, um, but it's it's not really effective for me that much. But uh, it worked for what it was and yeah, so I already said this month that I ended up switching around like putting the weeks in between um, Mixed in with the dailies, I guess So instead of having all of the weeks together and all of the dailies together It runs as weeks and dailies weeks and dailies and I'll try to zoom you guys in um, just a little bit so you guys can see um so i kept it really basic this month um i had a busy month for the most part because i was doing classwork and i'm still doing classwork um and it's about to get even busier for me but um yeah i was doing classwork and stuff so things got really busy this past weekend was super busy because our friends left so um, was a lot of running around and a lot of stuff. This is, um, this past weekend. Let's see. This is the new week. So <laughs> this is this past weekend and whatnot. And so, or this past week, I should say not weekend. And I just realized that I didn't check off something right here. So when things get really busy for me, um, because I don't really care about, you know, things being super perfect in here. I just cross it out if it's not going to happen at all. Like, don't need to do it. And sometimes I don't check off things if uh, I get really busy. So I might, 
missed some stuff and I've been putting these little circle dots instead of like an actual dot so like an open circle I've been putting that there to indicate for me that it is something that I'm still working on but it's not quite complete yet so um, maybe like the project is halfway done or something like that. So I've been doing that a lot. That's something that I didn't used to do in the past. And I, and I, I don't follow any bullet journaling um, codes or anything like that. So I've been just kind of coming up with uh, my own system of what everything means when I need to indicate that something is either complete or in progress and so on. And so here we are on this weekend. And obviously, as you can see, this was Saturday. So Saturday, my husband's birthday. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just looked up and it was so blurry. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, Saturday was my husband's birthday. So we celebrated you know, his birthday and stuff, um, just at home. Um, we had plans to go to Switzerland and that got canceled due to COVID. So, um, yeah, we're, we're just at home and I was so busy trying to make his day special that I didn't really check off anything that I did. And I ended up doing all of this. So that just shows you that when my day get, gets busy, I don't get a chance to look into this. And so, yeah, that's usually what happens. I also uh, plan at the end of every day. So I'll already have a um, schedule for myself or plans for myself prior to the day starting. And I just find that easier because when I wake up in the morning, sometimes I just want to be able to open this look at what I need to do and then just go because in realistic um in in a realistic manner I should say or I don't really know the correct terminology I can't get my words right I've been all over the place this week but um if I'm realistically speaking um I don't actually look at my planner several times out of the day I'll look at it once in the morning um, just to see where I am or what I need to do. And I kind of have a memory of what I need to do. And if I do forget, then I'll glance at it again and just say, okay, I've done this. And by that time, I'm usually updating what I've already done, what I still need to do, and so on. And then I'll look at it one more time in the evening. And by that time, I'm just setting up for the next day seeing what all I got done throughout the day. If I forgot anything, then I'll just move it on to the next day. So um, that's pretty much, uh, you know, like how September has really been going. So um, we've only got a couple of more days in September. And so this month I did the two days on one page. And then this is October. So October I wanted it to be a little bit different um I'll kind of zoom you out so you guys can see I don't know if this helps you guys just saw that blurriness um so I don't know <laughs> um but so this is October and I decided to do a month on two pages it's just a smidget part of the month on another page um and also I decided to add a date. So remember, because it worked so well in the previous monthly layout that um, I just decided to do it for this month too because it really works. And because I use these Sweet Kawaii um, stickers, they really take up a lot of space in a box, but I don't really care about that because I don't really put anything in these boxes, really. I just like to see where we are in the week, if that makes sense. So, um, for instance, I might add some stuff in, like I might add in when things start and how, how long it's running. Like I have things that's going through for these two weeks, but other than that, I really don't put a whole, whole lot in here. And I, I really did enjoy having a section where I could do that. Um, 
and then just looking at it and then looking at the dates then I can just see okay this is how far and so on so I hope that makes sense I'm horrible at explaining but let me know if that makes sense to you um, I did a sticker kind of dashboard I've been doing these simple simplistic dashboards throughout this whole um, bullet journal so for example Let's see if I can show you one. So for example, I did the June and then I also did, oops, the August. So it's been really, really simple, but I really like um, Halloween stickers and whatnot and Christmas stickers. So I had decided that I would do like a sticker dashboard divider sort of situation. So super easy to make. Um, really all you do, all you need is a sheet of laminate or acetate. I don't have acetate, so I just use a sheet of laminate and then I just uh, place the laminate on the page, figure out where I want the stickers to lay, and then I close it off and then run it through the laminator. So super easy. Um, this month I decided to put a 31 days of gratitude for October in my A5 and not in the A6 and there is a reason for that so I'll show you guys, um, you know, like the plans and stuff for that when we get there. So 31 days of gratitude here and then I went back to a day on a page in my A5. So if you are like paying attention to this layout right now you'll notice that nothing is split up with a line i am notorious for splitting sections off like this this was august i am notorious for having a section here a section here you know dedicating things to a specific section and for um october i actually don't have any lines indicating what section is which so i also don't have a desire to use my rings and i'll discuss more about the pocket rings once we get through like the a6 because um once i show you like what i'm doing in my a6 it will all make perfect sense to you why my thought process is kind of drifting away from rings and if you follow me because of rings i'm so sorry but i'm just not interested in planning or using rings um yeah i'm just i'm just gonna be honest i i think i've just grown out of liking rings like i like the idea and the concept of rings but i really like the bullet journaling method and had you know, my mind been opened up to like what you can really do with a bullet journal. I think that I would have eventually went that route anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it and I'm excited for my 2021 setup, which I also can't wait to share with you all. I think it will be, um, exciting to share nonetheless, but yeah. So my intentions with this day on a page for my A5 is, because I'm not using rings, is I will be putting my school schedule in here. So in the previous setup that I had for school, I had a section where I could, you know, indicate things um, from most important to least important. So in here, I'm just going to just use the time schedule to write when I need to do something. And then this section here is a to-do for the day. So it will be a running to-do list. So what I'll do is, because it's not sectioned off, I'll um, make the top part the top task or most important. I am so sorry that my camera is not wanting to focus in on anything like oh man can we like i'm so sorry guys um i completely just forgot what i was what i was saying um is it too dark does that help i'm filming on my phone so Let's here, let's do this. Let me just scoot over a little bit and see if that helps. 
Okay, so like I said, my intentions for this is I will be doing a top task in this section and then extra to-dos. And then wherever I see fit on the page, I will just add the notes in. Um, and that's pretty much what I have going for the whole um, month. And then at the end of each week, I have a weekly reflection. So this allows me to sit down and think about what I what I got done, what I didn't get done. And then this, this is my way of tracking progress, tracking goals and things like that. So I have it set up that way for the entire month. Um, I don't think I added anything else in here other than after the weekly reflections for the last week, I have a monthly reflections and this this I usually set up in four quadrants. So I usually have a line down the middle and then uh, down this way, you know, talking about the four sections. But instead, I just decided to do it this way um, to keep it, you know, in line with everything else. So that will take me to about right here in terms of planning. This is about this would be about five months worth of planning. And I have this much of it left, but I also have some stuff in the back and then some stuff in the middle. So I have room to put more stuff in here if I choose to. So I didn't actually purchase a new A5 bullet journal because I really want to just finish the journal that I'm in, even if we're in the new year. So now we can go to my A6. So... This planner here, this um, TN, it's a Print Pressions A6. And so what I have in here is pretty much pocket inserts. So I actually bought real A6 inserts this time to go into a uh, A6 Traveler's Notebook. So I got another one too. So there are a couple of things that I will be sharing with you all for my 2021 setup. Um, but for now, I'm just using pocket inserts. And this, so this is the size that I currently have in here. So I was able to get four of them comfortably in here, but one of them is actually true A6. So um, that kind of, you know, that kind of made it look a little funny a little bit because you have this one notebook hanging out. So for this setup, um, I have a bunch of different, like just um, Halloween themed stuff. I'm not really big on decorations. I really don't decorate. I don't really know how to decorate. I just throw in things that maybe look nice. And I'll make things specifically to throw in anyway. So um, I used a lot of my Sweet Kawhi Design stickers to kind of make like these little long bookmarks that I laminated and just put in here. And then I just laminated some stickers like the sticker dashboard and tucked it into the pocket. It really doesn't have any other purpose beyond, you know, just background decoration. And then um, instead of tucking in my monthly um, sticker like I did for September, I laminated it and then clipped it to the front of this book so that everything kind of just flows perfectly. So this is a personal journal. I never flipped through this um, because it has like my personal stuff in here, but I do... I'm just going to show you like I do journal in it. So if anyone is wondering like if I use any of these notebooks, I do journal in here. Um, I usually use like two days per page. So I do like sit down and write out like my thoughts, how I'm feeling and, you know, things that bother me. And then this journal here is a health and wellness journal. So if you have been following me for some time, then you probably um, will already know the deeds behind or the details behind like my whole pregnancy journey. So I am actually five foot even um, and I currently weigh 210 pounds. 
So part of my pregnancy journey is that I also have to lose weight um, because my BMI is very, very high. So um, if you don't know, here's the background to um, what I just said. I've had two miscarriages in the last year. And so me and my husband are trying to get pregnant. But in order to do that, there were a couple of steps that we needed to take. So for this month in October, I have a couple of really important projects to work on. I have my class that I'm doing because I'm in school to be an HR manager. So I'm taking a class for that, um, which will run for the remainder and into the following year and then I'm also taking a 12 week uh, nutrition class um, where I'll be logging and tracking like my weight loss program or weight progress I should say and yeah so I'll go ahead and flip over let's see because I've already shown some of this stuff quite a bit. So I'll go ahead and flip over September. So this was September's tracker. And I'll I'll kind of just touch bases on like the whole fitness journey. So um, these are just moods that I was tracking for September. So I had the workout, the drink water, the journal, the no spend, which I failed miserably as we can see. And drinking ACV and ACV is just apple cider vinegar. I was doing like a shot in the morning and in the afternoon and then in the evening, but I kind of fell off because I was feeling really crappy. And so um, when you feel nauseated and like sick, you really don't want to drink anything that's disgusting on top of how you feel. So I kind of stopped drinking it. And then once I started feeling better, I never picked it back up. So um, the track, the tracking progress for that just completely plummeted. Um, and then I've been tracking gratitude. I've been really good with gratitude. Um, it has really helped a lot this month. And I used to think that it wasn't relevant or that it wouldn't do anything for me, but it has. Um, I've been pretty good with Instagram. I try to take the weekends off, but I have been posting every single day. Um, sometimes on a Saturday, sometimes on a Sunday, but I really try to exclude those two days. And then I've tracked all of my moods because believe it or not, I had been really depressed prior months before this. Um, I know I don't always talk about it, but it does affect me and it has always affected me from like a teenager on up. So, um, I've been keeping track to see where my mood levels are and, this is this month's sleep tracker. It turned out pretty great. I was really concerned about being in a smaller size, but part of what makes me want to be in a smaller size really for like the entire um, 2020 year is that this was so fun to set up because it was short and small. And not only that, I took this around the house with me so it would be in the kitchen it would be in the dining room the living room um and I just loved picking it up versus my a5 now don't get me wrong I still love my a5 it is like my favorite thing ever these two sizes together but I really did uh enjoy the smaller size I did nothing with this this was supposed to be something um similar to like this little project oops if i can get there um it was supposed to be similar to a project like this this one says things that make me happy so you just write out a bunch of things that make you happy and then this one was supposed to be drawing something um, when you feel stressed out honestly i didn't have any time to sit down and draw out anything so if I get a chance, instead of drawing it out, I'll just use stickers. That's another, um, and I just, I just gave myself a thought because I didn't even think about the stickers until just now. But um, you can definitely, if you have like uh, journaling stickers, like the little Japanese journaling stickers, you could totally use them or just anything um, 
at all. You could totally use stickers to complete this project um, if you aren't artistic or don't feel like drawing. Um, I, prob I probably will do that. Um, and then this was my 30 days of gratitude. I won't stay on it too long because like I mentioned in a previous video, it is really personal. Um, so for this month, I had to put in this much and this took up quite a bit in my journal. So all together, I have like this much left of the journal and I'm probably going to have to replace it at some point. Um, but I'm trying to wait till I get to about maybe right there and then I'll think about replacing it because I want to see if it will at least take me to the end of the year. And if not the end of the year, then the end of November. But anywho, um, for my nutrition class, they asked me to keep a food journal. They really, um... They really want me to track everything that I eat and calories and whatnot. So um, I also have to do something called a bod pod where they break down like how many calories I take daily and um, the total body fat that I have and just pretty much calculating my whole entire BMI. So um, but part of the nutrition class is they wanted me to keep a food journal. So I've split it up into days. Originally, I didn't have these sticker covers, sticker date covers in here. I just messed up when I um, originally was setting it up because I started October on a Tuesday and I forgot that it started on a Thursday. So, oh my gosh. And that's a spider. So... <laughs> So you're seeing real life right now. This is me. I do not like bugs at all. So what I'm about to do is smash this spider on the wall. Oh, and it tried to get away. Oh. Oh. Okay. So sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> so I, okay, back up. I originally didn't have these stickers in here because uh, I had intended to just use pencil or not pencil, pen. And I have this pen here because I like to draw the lines in here and the titles with this pen because it's darker. But I like to use the tool pen because it writes so smooth and I don't worry about bleed through or anything like that with that pen. But um Anywho, back on track, I put these in here because I messed up and so I tried to keep the date stickers out of here because they add like a bulk, like they have like some sort of hump over it when they're in here all together. Because the, for those of you who've never had the Sweet Kawaii Design stickers, they are vinyl stickers, completely removable and repositional. So if you lay them down and you mess up, you can totally just peel them back up and reposition them again. But the problem with them is they're really bulky. So that's the only um, problem that I would say about the Sweet Kawhi Design stickers is that they are really bulky. Um, but other than that, I have all of the days in here, like a weekly layout. And so what I'll just do is... I will split it up and write down, you know, breakfast, what I ate for breakfast, what I ate for lunch, what I ate for dinner, the snacks, and pretty much like the quantities and so on. So all of that is in here for the entire month. Now, I don't know if this will be enough space, but we're definitely going to be trying it out. I ended up putting a new workout tracker in here for this month. It's the same kind of tracker that I used in a previous month. So this month, I believe it was August, September. So same kind of tracker. It's just split up on, you know, two different pages. And then I put a weight log in here. So like I said, this journal is a health and wellness journal. And I'm this deep into the journal already. And then this is what I have left in the journal. So I don't know if it'll be able to take me to uh, the end of the year or if it will be able to take me to November. But I want to see. 
Um, so part of the nutrition class is they want me to track my weight. So I'll have to weigh in because it's 12 weeks. I'll have to weigh in every week and I'll have to weigh in for 12 weeks. So what I tried to do is I tried to pick uh, days for my workouts that I will weigh in. Now it's not totally 12 weeks here, but those are the days following these workouts. So every time I take a fit test, I will weigh myself and so on. So I'll just track all of that here. Um, and then because the page goes beyond that, I'll keep tracking and see where I am. Um, or write any notes pertaining to weight. Um, so all of that will go in this section. And then I have another habit tracker, which isn't filled out, obviously. And then a sleep tracker, which I kept in here. And then nothing. And if I have, you know, notes for like my food journal, I can always tab something off and put it in there. So I really like the way that my health and wellness journal is turning out because I think that it's really, really helpful. Um, I did go ahead and add in, you know, like a picture of me and my husband. This is an old picture. This picture is like two years old now. Um, but I did go ahead and just move stuff around. You'll notice that I don't really have like a lot of deco and pictures and stuff because I don't really purchase those things. So when people give me happy mail and things like that, I just repurpose it. So I've been moving her around from planner to planner. She was in my rings and now she's in my A610. And so also I added a pen clip bookmark clip, not a bookmark clip. One of those traveler's notebooks, leather clips. I just cut off the leather part and stuck this on there so that I could clip this here because, um, I got tired of clipping it to the book and then it will fall off. So, yeah. And then, um, so if we go into here, so I've already shown this. Um, I, like I mentioned in my A5, I really don't put anything in these monthly overview calendars. I might put something in here, but not really a lot of stuff. Um, not like I used to because as long as I have like a section over here to write something, I'll definitely utilize that more than just writing it, you know, on the calendar. But I will put some things in there like so, like I mentioned in the A5, if something is running through or there is something I need to see actually on that calendar date, I'll put that stuff in. So that's the only purpose for it. So this was this month, and at first, if you uh, watched my previous video, I said that I didn't like this layout. Um, I was really iffy and said that I would give it to the end of the month before, you know, giving final thoughts. And it's not bad. I will say that I have grown to love it now because... It kind of limits me for what I can do for the day because knowing myself, I will keep going and thinking about things that I can do for that day. And so instead of, you know, keep going for, you know, however long I can go, um, I'm limited. And so this makes me think about what I really need to do in here. And because the space is so small, um, I, I usually end up putting like, most stuff in my A5, but um, I've been really trying to utilize the space in here because like I mentioned for 2021, I wanna go smaller. Um, and I haven't even purchased another A5 bullet journal because I wanna see if it's something that I can do. Um, when, I, when I have busy weeks like this was a really, really busy week. Um, when I have busy days for specific days, I've been using some sticky notes to kind of like extend the day. Um, I will only do this if there's things that I know I can't like push off to the next day. It has to get done in that day. So um, I will just put, you know, extra stuff on a sticky note if I end up running out of space. Um, same thing. So this is for this next week, so this week coming up. Um, I did a plan with me where I explained like, 
I will and usually put like things in here that I know for sure is coming up because this planner starts on a Sunday and goes through a Saturday um, and then Sunday would start the new page. Um, I turned these two sections into a to buy and a to do. So really, I don't never really have any like end of the month to do's except for to set up for the next month. Um, but I do have, I always have something that we need to buy for the next month. So I'll put that in here. Um, and then I need to set this up today. So if, um, if I can, I'll do a plan with me. Hopefully it's not 30 minutes long because my videos just, I don't know. They seem like they get longer and longer every time. So this is October, um, I haven't filled out this section over here yet, but this is October. These are my plans for October. So I completely forgot that I get date stickers. So I could use date stickers to move around the date so that I don't have like a bunch of space. So instead, um, because I've already laid the stickers down, what I've decided to do is I did draw a line through all of them like I did for last month. It's, this September um, and that section is for me to put the uh, the weather not the water and then also what I did is these three um, four boxes I will use for miscellaneous things so I have two that I have dedicated to goals and things to buy and then this box will be for like any random note um, any random notes and then it will start the week and then um, same thing here, except for all of the days are there. All of the days are there. And then, um, at the end of the month, I ran out of these stickers. They only, she only gives me like a couple, um, cause I don't think that they're intended to be used for every single day, but you only have like a couple um, that you can use, but I ran out. So instead I just used the pumpkin to do ones um, cause this is Halloween anyway. Um, and all of the month or weekly habit tracker stickers, they're still there. And then the bookmark for um, October is this. I did an unboxing where I showed this, so if you didn't get to see that, um, please check that out. But um, I just laminated this. I put it on very thick watercolor paper and then um, cut it so that it looks like it was meant to be and then laminated it. And I usually just stick this in here as a pencil board um, because I really don't stick it in between the weeks. Um, and then I tucked this in here because it was originally in my pocket rings but I tucked it in here because um because I'm not using pocket rings anymore this just works it's supposed to be a reference book that I still haven't been able to transfer everything but I will eventually do it this planner however has a note section in the back so I have utilized it with writing down things that I either need or want or things that I'm thinking about and so on. So that is my A6 rings or A6 rings, what? A6 traveler's notebook. And yeah, it is definitely something to be uh, excited about for me at least. Um, so yeah, I, I was going to show you guys the pocket rings, but I won't do it because this video is at 38 minutes. We're at 40 minutes in. I don't know if anyone will sit long enough to watch a video 40 minutes in, but I wanted to kind of just leave you with this note. Um, I'm not in rings and I don't have a desire to be in rings because, Whenever I'm in my ring planner now, I just don't get excited. Um, and not only that, I've really enjoyed being able to put all of my months, all of my days in one notebook or in two notebooks. Because um, these 
are here and then I can archive them. I also like the idea that I can dedicate certain notebooks to certain things. So like with the health and wellness journal, if I don't want to bring all of my planning stuff, I have the health and wellness journal with everything in it to my doctor's appointments. I can just slip that notebook out, drop it in my purse, and I have all of that information together. Um, I also just like the fact that, you know, notebooks are super inexpensive. You can get these little pocket notebooks off of Amazon. That's where I got these. You can get them off of Amazon fairly cheap. They come with like 96 to like a hundred and something pages in them. Um, and then if you want, um, you can find some really nice A6 notebooks or whatever size traveler's notebook you're in. You can find really nice notebooks uh, with really nice paper um, for them. And the best thing about a blank notebook is you can literally make it whatever you want it to be. So I personally have grown to love planning in a bound book and specifically A6 size and A5. These are like my favorites because A6 is not too small like a pocket and it's not too big, big like a personal, but it's just right. But yeah, guys, that's my whole spiel on it. Um, I did buy inserts for 2021, but I honestly don't think that I will put them to use. And the last thing that I will say is I'm not, I don't, I don't really care for the Motown Versa. I bought it um, because, you know, it was something that I obviously wanted and everyone had it. Um, but if I'm being honest, <laughs> It's really not my favorite planner at all and I have almost considered selling it a few times because or giving it away because I just can't justify selling stuff sometimes because I, I feel like if you don't want to use something, you can just give it away to someone who will use it. Um, and because times are hard right now, like the pandemic and all that stuff. But yeah, that's my whole spill on it. I'm sorry this video is so long. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I don't care about the Motown Versa at all. Like, it's a great planner, but it's, it's not my fave. So yeah, that's all that I had to share with you all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you lasted this long, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel and you would like to subscribe, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join. And as always, guys, I will catch you in another one of my planner-related videos. Bye, guys.